What's up everybody? Happy New Year. My name is Justin and welcome back to another episode of Whiskey Tears. Today I'm going to be showing you my five top whiskeys that I own from 2023 plus two honorable mentions. Okay, so in today's video, I'm just going to show you what is making my final five plus the two honorable mentions. And then in the next video, we're going to do the blind and see which, what the order is and which one comes out on top. So when I show you the order today, it is in no particular order whatsoever. Okay, first, first honorable mention is actually going to be the Barrel Bourbon Ambarana. I didn't give this one quite as high of a rating right out of the gates when I did the initial review, but if you can see how much I've drank of this bottle, the more and more it opened up, the more that thing is just absolutely amazing. It tastes like a cinnamon cheesecake with a nice buttery crust on there. It is phenomenal. It's really, really good. I'm actually planning on doing coming up soon, seeing if I can recreate the Rio using this Ambarana and this Starlight Honey. Gonna do a little blend of that, see if I can maybe make something that's close to the Rio. But coming in, honorable mention, is going to be this Barrel Bourbon Ambarana finish. Okay, second honorable mention is one that I just did here at the end of the year. It's the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye. This thing is really, really good. I was debating back and forth on whether it would be the Parker's Creek Heritage Edition or this one. And I decided that one, based on price, and two, I did just a quick little head-to-head -head blind that I just did myself for fun that I didn't film. Don't know if I'll ever do that maybe in the future here on the channel, but this one actually won. It was really, really close. I didn't know which one was which, but this one actually won in that blind between these two. So the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye is the other honorable mention for the year. Okay, as I said, the final five bottles for my year are in no particular order today. This is just uh, kind of how I pick them up off the floor since I took them down off the shelf. And these are the ones that I think deserve to be in the end of the year blind. Number one. Number one is one that if you told me at the beginning of the year I would be putting in the end of the year blinds, I would have told you you were crazy. But this is the Larceny Barrel Proof A123. So this is all the way back from January, but you can see how much I have enjoyed this bottle. This thing was just such a banger. I know some people preferred the, the B batch of this better this year, but for me, this one was far and away better than the B batch and definitely deserved to be up in the finals this year for one of the top five. All right, second bottle that's gonna go in. This is the Old Carter straight bourbon, very small batch. This is the three PLDC. It comes in at 117 proof, just a nice uh, oaky, misty, not misty, what's one am I looking for? <laughs> not misty, uh, musty, there we go, musty, musty pour. It's, it's a harder one to get, plus this is a very small batch, so it's more regionalized. Now, to be fair, I didn't open the American batch 11 or 12 yet. I've been kind of just holding on to those. They probably would have bumped this one out based on how good the American batch 10 is had I opened one of those two this year. But since I didn't, number two on the list is going to be the Old Carter. Okay, number three on my list. And this one was one that I really went back and forth with in my head if I wanted to put it in the final five for the end of year blinds just because... When I do blind it, it's going to be so easy to pick out which one this is. This is the Penelope Rio. It's been a super hard bottle to get for most people out there, but this is the straight bourbon whiskey finished in honey and Ambarana barrels. It's the double cast finish and it's coming in at 98 proof. But man, that thing is just absolute dessert in a glass. It is so good. So as I thought about whether I wanted to put it in here, yes, I'll be able to know immediately which one this is when I do it in the blinds. but I really, really love it. I enjoyed it so much. So I decided to put it in because if I'm picking the top five that I liked best on the year, the Rio is definitely going to be one of them. All right, number four, another late addition towards the end of the year, but it is the ECBP C923. This thing was just so dang good. I was lucky enough recently to actually find a backup bottle. So I'll have that one stored for quite some time. This is this, this pour is just going to be one of those ones that I break out when I'm really wanting something nice 
super dense, super thick, musty. The oaks, I believe, if I remember correctly, because I haven't had it in quite some time yet, it had that real nice molassesy caramel vanilla, and then it coated your mouth with that viscosity. So the ECBP C923, number four. And finally, and like I said, in no specific order for this video, is going to be the Jack 12. I mean, you probably could have guessed that one if you've been watching the channel or if you've been watching a lot of other people's channels and they were able to get this bottle. I had to trade for this bottle. I couldn't find it uh, anywhere near me for anything less than like $700. So I traded for this for some other bottles uh, with a member of the Discord, but this thing is just absolutely phenomenal. Drinks so good. Still has some of those Jack Daniel notes, but it's also got those much older notes that you get. It's got no harshness, no bitteriness to it at all. It is just a really, really good pour coming in at 107 proof. So the Jack Daniels 12 is gonna be the last one on the list today. So this is it. My final five that are going to be in my end of the year blind coming up. It should be the next video after this, plus the two honorable mentions over there. Let me know what you guys think about my final five. What would you have put up that I did throughout the year that maybe I didn't? Maybe the old fits, maybe the Parker's Heritage, maybe the uh, High West Midnight Winter Nice Dram. Who knows? Maybe the um, Blood Oath Pack 9. I don't know. What, would you, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week for the Blind Battle.